we, we had a joke where like two construction workers were talking and one was saying something about how schools are kind of like prisons nowadays because they want to like keep the doors open to let COVID out, but you want to keep the doors closed to keep school shooters out. So it was kind of a dual commentary on those two issues and how they kind of contrast each other. You know, I think in making Sox News, we were actually in the end able to pack a bit of a punch because the comedy had to be like concise and well written enough to make it apparent that we were parodying Fox News and then also had to actually be funny. A big portion of editorial cartoons are kind of poking fun at in a, like a satirical way. That's an important part of mm. political cartoons too, yeah. is like how we have or have not evolved from something. And I think showing that really are we making progress on something or are we kind of putting a band-aid on it. Like the LGBTQ community, when you see things like this being you know, brought into legislation, that creates a whole nother level of fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just Googled and like looked at a couple different news sources and got a few different opinions and then tried to start looking at the facts Having my perspective is kind of able to break it down for other people who maybe don't know the actual like inner workings behind the bill themselves. Jack was the first one to draw the political cartoons for Tatler. And then I saw what he did and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to try it. It definitely takes a learning curve. So I'm kind of a perfectionist in a lot of things. And I feel like in political cartoons, you kind of have to be a little bit more easygoing and be willing to make it look a little messy. The editorial cartoon that I'm thinking about focusing on is, you know, just about the Ukrainian war, detailing, you know, America 1968, it said it's a just war, and then, you know, 2003, American general saying it's a just war, and then Putin saying 2022, it's a just war. Along the way, the A drops off and it says it's just war. You know, last night, I just like to kind of see what other artists are doing, so I was looking up other editorial cartoons, stuff about Vietnam, stuff about Iran and Iraq. So we're gonna have one panel um, for Vietnam, right? So it'll be uh, like 1968, I think. Um, and then in the background, it'll be an American flag. And then you'll have a general maybe stand in, you know, big chest, kind of accentuate the features with caricatures to kind of make them more interesting for the audience. It's a just war. Maybe in front of him, he's a map of Vietnam or like maybe the Vietnamese flag is right here. We give our reader context clues. Beneath all the panels, we can write it again. It's just war. I mean, all the elements are here, you know, it's simple. And then you have the punchline for the, the current event. So I think that's uh, all we're gonna need for this editorial cartoon. We'll just have to finish it up, clean it up, and add some color. I became sort of obsessed with reading my parents' copies of this magazine they used to get called The Week, reading the two-page comic spread that they would have in the middle, really anything that was happening in the world at the time. And so, although I was initially only there for the interesting art, it honestly became a way for like my younger self to consume news without having to read news stories that were much less fun. Eventually, I got much more interested in politics following the advent of the Trump administration, easily combined with my love of art, and then we found ourselves here. That's all we have for you today. Stay safe, America.